What's up guys, this is Clearly Not Nick here, and today I'm bringing you a commentary on the new Call of Duty map, Ignition. Now, this is the remake of Scrapyard from MW2's fan favorite, everybody loved it. Me, myself personally, I did as well, competitively and sniping wise. Now, they've brought, they've, they brought it back, but there's a couple of changes that you could probably see in the gameplay. One is lighting, the textures, as you can see from that. It's different from Modern Warfare 2, obviously. I mean, there's a game... Two game, I guess you could say. I don't know. There's two. There's two game difference that's there, so it's obviously noticeable. Two, they added a new path. It's not really that much of a difference that it makes. Some people might say it does, and honestly, my personal opinion it doesn't. It goes from one wing, not one wing, but one canister. I guess you could say. I don't know. What's a good call out for that? But it goes from one canister to the next. That's about it. Nothing big. Nothing major. So, I mean, it's. You can clearly see when they're running in, you can see when they're running out, and it goes right uh, to the middle of the canister, I do believe, if I'm right. It's not it's not that horrible. It really isn't. Overall, the map is pretty decent. I had my nit nitpicks with it, of course, because I'm just a nit I'm nitpicky person. One of the things I did not like was uh, the fact of if the feel of it is a little bit off. Now, what I mean by that is uh, if you look at the map... And if you've ever played Modern Warfare 2 Scrapyard, then you remember, you remember how it looks, you remember how it feels when you're climbing, etc, etc. When you're on mountain here, I feel like my person's smaller, I guess you could say, when I'm running through. I don't know if it's the fact that I have not played in a while, I don't know if it's in fact, I haven't just been in the atmosphere of Modern Warfare 2 Scrapyard. I don't know, I guess they tried to change it for that simple fact, but that's, that's just beyond me, I'm not too sure what they were trying to do with it, but... What they want to do is what they want to do. I can't tell them not to, but that's just a nitpick I have with it. Besides that, everything is more of a construct of the original scrapyard, which I appreciated that. It was very nice to go to play around and feel like I'm on scrapyard again while being on Call of Duty Ghosts, because Ghost has its downfalls. Lot, lots, lots of downfalls, <laughs> to say the least. But with that said there are good things about it and this map hat brings another good thing about it i do enjoy this map when i played on it I, I thought it was pretty good so i will say this is a good map to have in the map pack overall this map pack i've said map pack like four or five times in the last 20 seconds but anyways in this whole pack the uh the maps i can't remember actually all the maps it's fog ignition containment and bayview there we go and then there's uh, episode one for nightfall and so far i've played bayview and this uh ignition both i've th uh sort somewhat enjoyed bayview I, i'm gonna have my nitpicks with it as well i'll post that in another video i have another one coming up about that gameplay as well and it's gonna be going over the maverick assault rifle now speaking of the maverick uh, that's what I'm rolling with on this video if you've been watching I am using the Maverick a2 sniper now It's not bolt action. It's I guess you could classify it as a semi-automatic I'll classify it as a semi-automatic because it shoots more than one bullet at a time without cocking back Without cocking back the bolt. You don't want to meet Now even though it is a semi-automatic weapon this is quite a, it's probably one of the most powerful cinema autos besides the bear that I've ever used because I got when I used it I got the same amount of hit markers I would have if I was using the USR or the L18 if I, I think it is the, uh, the other L weapon there's too many L's there's like L18 in the Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 1 and it, it's gotten confusing they just need to bring back the M4 Day 3 or M4 Day 5 and everybody will be happy anyways besides the Barrett this would be one of the most powerful and one of the best semi-autos that I have played with on here on Call of Duty just in all of general I did enjoy it the only reason I did not like using that sniper was because of the kick and that's because I had chrome barrel on it and it has a pretty nasty kick. I'm not sure if I have it on this video, to be honest with you, off the top of my head. But you'll see. If I do, you will see. It. It's a nasty kick. It's pro it's horrible. <laughs> I don't know if they'll fix that later on. I think it's probably a good balancing, a balance, a way to balance the gun because it is quite powerful. So it's a way just to keep it even level, even though like 
if somebody just breathes on you, you die in that game. But anyways, just continuing on, it's a good weapon overall. I'd have, if I had to score it out of 10, I'd give an 8 out of 10. Barrett and other weapons, 9, etc, etc. But nonetheless, overall, this map, Ignition, is good. The sniper rifle is pretty good. I forgot to talk about details, actually. I'll talk about that real quick. Oh, uh, it comes with automatically a pretty good looking scope. That's, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's like a target finder, uh, target finder type of scope. And whenever you zoom in on somebody and you see them in your reticle, they will light up red. And it's a whole lot easier to see them. And I find it really nice. I haven't been able to go through the scopes to see if there's any different ones or an attachment for a regular scope. That would be pretty neat. I don't know if they have that. They might bring it back later on. So I'm going to have to go take a look at that. But overall, this map pack does seem like it is worthy of a buy. I'm going to delve more into this and I'll bring more gameplays out to elaborate on what I think about it and what I think could be fixed. I'm going to try to do the Michael Myers as well. Problem is, you get copyright strikes because of the song in there. So uh, if I do bring it out, there won't be any audio. Well, not throughout the whole video, maybe. I don't know. But if there's a Michael Myers part, which I'm going. Whoa. Red egg moment. If there's a Michael Myers part that's going to be on there, I won't cut it out. Sadly enough. You can find it on somebody else's YouTube, most likely uh, Call of Duty's YouTube channel. But that's about it for this commentary. This game needs to get ready to wrap up. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, comment what you think about this video. If you don't want to subscribe, take a look at my other videos, see what you think about them. But that's about it, so you all have a nice day.